this this is gonna be a really hard video um hey what's going on guys what's going on my paisanos welcome back to me this is a video about me and uh i wanted to use this video as a video that's not like one of my other videos about Danganronpa or um, anything else I do. Let's plays, vlogs, react, you know, anything I do on this channel. I want to take a break from that because I want to talk about me specifically. And uh, because this is my channel, since I broadcast myself, I want to be more open with you guys. I'm never really too open about anything I really do about anything. Um, I, I generally try to be, but I'm not really that much, honestly. But uh, I wanted to talk about something today I've been thinking about. And uh, it's it's really hard for me to really talk about this. But um, it's something I really want to talk about because it's something that's been on my mind. So this morning, um, I woke up, <laughs> obviously. But uh, later, I actually went back to sleep. Uh, so I didn't really wake up for that long. I just kind of went back to sleep right after I woke up. And I had this dream. And it was just a really, a really long dream. And it was about a special someone. Um, not going to tell you guys who that person was. But it's someone I haven't seen in years. And some people are, are probably watching this and they don't mean they're like, oh my God, I know this person that you don't. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. It's, it's it's like a very obscure person that I barely talk about in my life. Uh, I haven't seen this girl since, yes, it's a girl. It's a girl that I haven't seen since elementary school, 10th grade. She wasn't even in my class. She was... She was across from our class. She was in my class in the fourth and uh, the fourth and second grade, though. And let me tell you guys right now, I was a really bad kid, and I, I, I still am to an extent. But I was really, really bad. I I always got sent to the office. I always did my own thing. I, I was I've always been a troublesome kid. I've always been weird. Okay, so obviously. You know, when you're like me, people are going to look at you in a weird way. So what happens is, is in second grade, um, everybody doesn't like me because I'm weird and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm seven years old. Doesn't even doesn't even bother me. But, um, you know, it did kind of get to me, though. You know, knowing that nobody actually really liked me and just saw me as weird, even though some of my friends are really cool with me. I, I didn't like that. I've always wanted to be that type of person that was cool with almost everyone uh, because that's just the type of person I am. So although it wasn't in the forefront of my mind what was going on with that, it was in the back of my mind all the time. But I remember my teacher, I remember her name too, Miss Griffin. If Miss Griffin's watching this, by the grace of God, <laughs> uh, Ms. Griffin, I love you so much. She was just such an amazing teacher, but she used to actually like place me somewhere where nobody else was sitting. So she'd give me a desk and she used to put it away from somebody else to teach me a lesson. And I never learned my lesson. So I was there for like the entire school semester. So what happened was, is, you know, of course I wasn't learning as much as I should have. So Ms. Griffin was like, hey, you know what? Let's get Cam a student to sit with him in order to help him learn better. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't even freaking care about this class anyway. Freaking two plus two, what is that? <laughs> freaking six? No, <laughs> I wasn't that bad, but I was really bad at adding, subtracting. I hate math. But um, long story short, this this um, the teacher that she, the teacher, you know, basically tells a student to come sit next to me every single day all the time and she only got to go back to her to her desk sometimes so obviously she was like always with me all the time so yes of course the girl i'm talking about is the same girl yes it's the same girl from the dreams and i remember all the time when she'd come over to the desk i don't have too much memories of that she might actually 
because I was I wasn't paying attention at all. I was goofing off. I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I I swear to y'all, I, that's all I, I do in school. That's every single day for me. But I remember acknowledging though that she was helping me, and you know she didn't have to. I know the teacher told her to do it, but she did it for a little while. Seemed like she was okay with me too. And one of the things that really gets me is when somebody helps someone despite their flaws. Very cliche for me to say that, but it means true to me. And I remember one day I was goofing off and then the girl said something to me. Stop saying, I think she said something like stop goofing around or pay, uh, paying attention to some. And I remember, don't know what happened. Something like clicked to me. I might've looked at her, but something clicked. I like this girl. And you know why I like this girl? Cause she's helping me. Despite how everybody has said so many times before how how weird I am, how 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 gross I am because I was kind of gross but not as gross as you probably think. How gross she is! Uh, he doesn't do anything. He just gets always sent to the to the office all the time. No, all the like I was a troublemaker. I I, I did nothing, despite all of that. She had no qualms, well at least on the outside to help me. And you know what? Y'all don't know how, how long it's been for me trying to look for someone that's kind of like that. You know? I, I've liked girls ever since I was like four years old. So it's been about 15 years for me. Um... So, when I look back at that, I don't see her as just saying, hey, look, let me help you out right quick. I see it as something more. I've, I've dealt with a lot of girls in the past, and I can tell you right now that none of them were as nice as she was. She was, she was absolutely lovely. All the girls I've ever dealt with, I've never really had a, a real relationship. But with all the girls I've dealt with, she was the best. I call her the best crush I've ever had because she was a nice girl. And I wish I still knew her. And I don't know why I dreamt about her, though. I haven't seen her in years I've been looking around, uh, like on on freaking Google and everything, and it's like this this either. I'm thinking that this either might be a premonition. Maybe I should talk to her, but I think that's wrong. I, I this I've done this before. It, it never has worked, and maybe even I just think of it as my dream was like telling me this is how you feel about your love life because. I haven't liked anybody in a while. Like, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really... I'm very picky when it comes to girls, I guess you could say. But it's only because I am i don't really look at someone, you know, ro romantically, sexually. I look at them as a person. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm still sexually attracted to girls. But I don't want to have a relationship where it's built upon that. Because when it comes to that, that that's shallow. Because what if... What if that person doesn't want to do what you want to do at that certain point in time? What if that person, what if that person looks a certain way, changes the way they look? Is it really love then? Because all I've ever wanted to have in life was love. It's it's one of my main driving forces in a way. I, it's in the back of my mind, but it's one of the main driving like freaking gears in my brain. But. It's haunting because every time I, I think about girls, you know, my, my brain wants to say, hey, look, let's just get with the girl.
that's easy. But then my spirit says, no, don't do that. Because you know you're not gonna like this girl. You know you what you you want, you know what you want. Don't settle for less. And I know that, obviously. I just said it on camera. But I don't understand why does it have to be her? This isn't even like the first time I've dreamt about it. This is like the third or fourth time. And every single time I've ignored it. Okay, that might be a lie. Because the first time I actually did, I actually did think about I No, I didn't just think about her. I tried to talk to her. Uh, she obviously didn't respond. This is a little while ago. I'm not sure how it was. I think it was her YouTube. I'm not sure. Whatever. But now, you know, I just, I just don't know. I, I've like, I've been feeling like this all day. You know, the girl has a boyfriend too. Like I follow her on Instagram. I don't say anything. I'm just like a silent follower. I just be, you know, if she pops up on my timeline. I'll look, I'll like, and I'll be like, hey, that's pretty cool. But I don't actively look at her profile, and I, I do occasionally. Not occasionally. Like, maybe if I'm just like, eh, you know, if she's on my mind, I'll, I'll check. And she looks like she's happy. She, 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 she looks happy. And, and that's amazing. That's all I ever wanted, you know, and uh, I, I, I just don't know what to do, though. She has a boyfriend, like I said, don't want to ruin that. And I'm not even sure if the love, if there was, and this is going to sound cheesy, but if the love I could give to her could be the love that she wants. It doesn't even matter how, how how big, how how much mass of love that I give her. That doesn't even matter. Is it the type of love that she wants, though? That's the question. But I know this is all ludicrous. Because I, I don't want to talk to her. I mean, I do at the same time, though. That's the thing, but I know I shouldn't because this is being based off of a dream. I don't actually like her. I, I don't. Okay. Even though that was a lie. I just don't know. I've been feeling like this all day. And I really want to know why. And I don't really understand anything I want to say God is saying go talk to her but God could also be saying you got to learn from this you got to say hey look Cam I'm trying to give you this dream you got to learn from it and there goes my discord right there and I don't know which which one I'll let fate decide that. But for now, I want to focus on running and YouTube and my family and my friends and having fun, most importantly. I've always wanted a girlfriend. Don't get me wrong. But every single day, I wake up in the morning, I see somebody with their significant other, and then I and then I look at them, and then, then I see how happy they is. I'm just like, man, I wish I had that. I wish I had a girl that I could uh, go to an amusement park with. I, I wish I could have a girl I could play games with, somebody I could take walks with. Somebody that could be there for me. And I could be a, be there for her. Somebody that I could do their hair, they could do mine. Somebody that I could get jealous over, you know? 
somebody that could have the passwords to all of my stuff, all everything. I'm telling you everything. There'd be no secrets in between us. Somebody, some somebody that, somebody that I've been looking for. I wish, I wish to God I had someone like that. I mean, I wish to God I had something like that, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, um, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm also gonna figure out my hair. Obviously, it's a little bit disheveled right now. It's not what it is, how it usually looks. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But I wanted to make this video to be very straight with you guys. I wanted to be honest. And, and no edits or anything. I'm uploading this as it is. So, you know. And I felt like I needed to tell you guys this now. Just to give you a little insight on how I think. Um, I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm not asking for empathy. I'm not saying that I don't appreciate those things. But I didn't get on this video to really just not just to ask for something i didn't tell i didn't ask you guys to finally find out where she lives or where she stays i didn't ask you guys to start texting me calling me whatever all that stuff no i didn't tell you i didn't tell y'all to do that i'm good but i did tell you guys because i love every single one of you at least every single one of you that watches my videos every if you've gotten this far in the video comment tell me that you did because that is going to tell me that you care about me and in turn i'm going to care about you and i love you <laughs> and it just i i i always just wanted people like that in my life you know so with that being said, guys, um, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, I wanted to do something that I've never done before. I, I would like to do this more often. Um, but that's only if you guys like it. And I know this stuff is kind of negative. I hope it's not negative. But it's not. It's positive because it means that I am starting to really understand how to love someone. It's very confusing. It's just, it's very confusing for someone like me, of course. But yeah. Anyways, stop stop dialing any longer. I gotta get back to work on some videos for you guys to enjoy and. Like I said, you guys, I love you like my family. And a family is all I could ever ask for. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, have a good night or day whenever y'all are watching this. And as always, bye right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. I don't know what this was. I usually do this, but I need to get away from this because I know a whole lot of people do it already. <laughs> But thank you.